Well, you talk about changing with the times. The boot industry itself is, is really getting a facelift. And with great companies like Dan Post Boot Company, boy, the, Terry, you guys have gone off the charts here. This leather has got to be one of the coolest leathers that I've ever seen. These are fashion boots utilizing some really unique leathers, Paul. Yeah, you know, and they were telling me that how this leather was kind of developed was basically, I mean, it, it, it is a wax and oil and some other treatments. And then they put it in a heat press and it bakes the leather. And I tell you what, guys, if you could get a close up of this leather, the uniqueness of these first two boots and even this third boot, it's a little different treatment. But I tell you what, I mean, you talk about a surprise in the box because every one of these, when you open it, has got a different, a different look to it, its own characteristic, doesn't it? It sure does. And this is a lady's boot, this is a men's boot. Either gals, guys that wear the boot is really a unique look. Yeah, and you, you talk about it and then you, a unique look. Then you throw the stitch pattern on top of this, and I mean, you just give it a whole different look. Now, when you say ladies' fashion boot, I'm going to show the folks at home. That, that has a, uh, I think it's a three-inch heel we mm -hmm. measured before, uh, before we started here. It's a three-inch ladies' fashion heel, which you've seen a lot of the fashion boots got the higher heels, even in the western boots. But this still does have a good, solid western pointed toe, which mm -hmm. is really fashionable. But uh, here, I, I keep moving that boot around. I'm going to show them. This, this is called a vamp stitch, right? It's called our falcon stitch. Falcon stitch. Which is okay. on the vamp and on the shaft. So that's unique to a Dan Post boot as well. And uh, it is. I mean, you know, I'm seeing that trend as far as what I call just as a general statement, a vamp stitch. Of course, that stitch is called the falcon with the Dan Post boot company. That's a tremendous look. And, you know, not only in ladies, but in men's as well. You know, I, I mean, we're starting to sell a lot, a lot of this look. And, uh, boy, this one's definitely unique, is it not? They got the, both have the snip toe. They, you, if you wear this boot, you're going to stand out. Yeah. Now, just because this is kind of a, more of a fast-forward look, it still has the guts of a Dan Post boot, doesn't it? It's got all the quality features of a regular boot. Okay. So it has the ultimate flex insole inside of it, you know, so it's easy to break in, it's cushion all day long, whether you're going to wear it out at night or... I mean, you could do anything in this leather, really. It's a tough leather. It really is. <laughs> it really is. A, it, it's a tough leather. Now, let's, let's get to this last one. And uh, we call this the Tan Puma, I mm -hmm. believe. Uh, kind of the same thing. It's just got a little bit of a different fit. It doesn't have as much of the small crackling. But I tell you what, if you can get a close-up on that right there, Rod, I mean, the leather. You know what this reminds me of, Terry? It's almost like you go in and you're picking tile out for your kitchen floor. You see all these marblings and different finishes on marble. This is kind of what that reminds me it's of. It's a crackly leather, just unique to that particular distressed look. Yeah, yeah, and like you yeah, distressed look, which is the hottest thing in the boot industry right now is that worn look. You know, it's got all the features of the Dan Post that you expect from Dan Post, yet it's got that different, unique look. You want to stand out in the crowd? Try one of these Dan Post boots at pfiwestern.com. Check out the Dan Post, El Paso, and Puma boots. Save $40 now at pfiwestern.com.